number of infections by the coronavirus have continued to rise. In China, over 10,000 flights has been cancelled on a given day right now. The rescue flights out of Wuhan by many countries. Passenger seats have been added in the cargo hold. Evacuated now, safely. And the people at greatest risk of acquiring this infection. Things have gone really serious lately. The death toll and the number of infections by the coronavirus have continued to rise. Now we are seeing over 600 number of deaths and 32,000 numbers of infection worldwide. China represents a large market air travel. The outbreak of coronavirus disease has taken a large toll in aviation and airlines industry. But just how bad it has got? First, we'll take a look at the rescue flights out of Wuhan by many countries. I've collected many rare footage. This footage might not be the best in quality, but you get the story. I think saving life and security safety is the priority right now. There are strict safety protocols on these rescue flights. Every passenger underwent screening process at the airport, including temperature recording. Crew members wear protective suits, goggles, and surgical mask. All passengers had to wear surgical masks to prevent the potential spread of virus. The Japanese government are the first to evacuate its citizens in Wuhan. It has already performed three evacuation flights using ANA Boeing 767-300. South Korea government chartered a Korean Air Boeing 747-400 aircraft to fly from Seoul, Gimpo to Wuhan twice. Same as Japan, South Korea keep using one aircraft to minimize the cleaning work. The U.S. government chartered Kalita Air Boeing 747-400 freighter cargo aircraft to fly from Wuhan via Anchorage, Alaska to Riverside March Air Reserve Base in California. It is interesting to see passenger seats have been added in the cargo hold. Russia has sent Illusion 76 transporter to take their citizens back from Wuhan. The plane flew back 78 passengers to Tumen in Siberia. It is where they set up a camp to quarantine these passengers and test them for the virus. Here are some rare footage of the rescue flight ops. UK government chartered a Wamos Air 747-400 to fly directly from Wuhan to Royal Air Force Base Brits Norton. The aircraft went on to Spain afterwards. On the tarmac of a Royal Air Force Base in Oxfordshire, England, the first passengers getting off that plane and arriving home evacuated now safely from the coronavirus outbreak zone. This is one of a number of planes, a number of countries now have succeeded in repatriating their citizens. We know on board are 83 British citizens, 27 foreign nationals, including the Chinese spouses and partners who were given permission to fly. So keep a watch on these. These are the very first people coming off that plane. France, together with other European Union countries, chartered the largest aircraft in the world, the A380, operated by High Fly to rescue EU citizens out of Wuhan. The German government sent an Air Force Airbus A310 to Wuhan to rescue Australian citizens from the coronavirus epicenter in Wuhan. Qantas has been tasked to operating a flight from Wuhan to Learmont, Western Australia. From there, the passengers are transferred to Christmas Island, where they will stay two weeks for quarantine. Qantas, the Australian airline, has issued a statement saying 
the internal call for volunteers to operate the flight was oversubscribed, with scores of people putting their hands up to assist. The Bangladeshi government chartered a Beeman Bangladesh 777-300 to fly to Wuhan directly from Dhaka. Here are some footage on board the flight. The Indian government sends two different Air India Boeing 747-400 aircraft from Delhi to Wuhan. The Sri Lankan government charters Sri Lankan Airlines A330-200 aircraft. The Indonesian government chartered a Batik Air A330-300 to rescue Indonesian citizens. Malaysian government sends an Airbus A320 Neo from Air Asia to pick up citizens. The Thai government has also sent an Air Asia Airbus 320 Neo to fly from Wuhan to Utapau Air Force Base. The Uzbek government sent an Uzbekistan Airways 767-300ER to fly from Tashkent to Wuhan to pick up the citizens. The Jordanian government chartered a Royal Jordan Airline Boeing 787 Dreamliner fly to Wuhan back to Amman. Other countries involving the rescue including Turkey using A400M military aircraft, Algeria using Air Algerie A330, Morocco using Royal Air Maroc 787, Egypt with Air Leisure A330, Saudi Arabia chartered the iFly A330, New Zealand using Air New Zealand 777-200. A Scoot 787 flew to Singaporean back home while the Canadian government chartered a HiFly A330-300 flew Canadian back from Wuhan to Canadian Force Base Trenton in Ontario. Not only foreign airlines are sending planes to China to pick up their citizens back, the Chinese airlines are also rescuing Chinese citizens stranded overseas due to foreign airline cancellations. Here's a footage of China Southern sending their planes from Guangzhou to Phuket in Thailand to pick up stranded citizens there. We are seeing a number of airlines deep cleaning their plane, disinfecting every corner from the top to bottom, from the table inside to the in-flight magazine. No corner has left unturned. So what are the chances to get infected on the plane? The risk for transmission is low, and the people at greatest risk of acquiring this infection would be those who are in close contact with the person on the plane, so people who are sitting beside this individual, and usually one or two rows in front and one or two rows behind. And just by virtue of being on the same airplane does not make you at greater risk to have this infection. Chinese Air Force have mobilized their Illusion 76 transporter and personnel to deliver medical supplies to the virus epic center Wuhan. Many Chinese airlines were flying empty passenger planes but carrying cargo as supplies inside the aircraft cabin. Most of the foreign airlines have suspended flights or significantly reduced flying into China. Currently, all US and European airlines have suspended flying to mainland China, and US carriers also suspended Hong Kong. 
Within domestic China, the cancellation rates of the flights have reached over 70%. That is over 10,000 flights cancelled on a single day as the government asked people not to travel and stay indoor. Many flights to secondary Chinese cities have been cancelled. Here are a list of airlines still flies on a limited schedule to China. Air China have combined their U.S. service with Los Angeles and San Francisco together and also club JFK and Washington DC together. It remained doubtful who can fly on this service as U.S. has issued a travel ban for anyone who has been to China in the last 14 days. The fear of getting infected by coronavirus has reduced air travel beyond China. We're seeing a lot of airline might operating in red again, just saying how volatile the situation is by the reduced amount of traveling. Cafe Pacific has been hit particularly hard since the Hong Kong unrest last year. It planned to cut 30% worldwide capacity and 90% capacity to China. The airline have asked staff to take unpaid leave to save the cash flow of the company. My hat off to all the volunteers, to all the crew and all the personnel who are fighting the coronavirus, serving the citizens, who are braving your life, risking your life. Total respect, you guys did a great job.